Pavel is asking, I would love to become a virtual speaker, but I am petrified that I would be completely helpless if something went wrong. If I was at a live gig, I could say something or tell a joke. What about online? <laughs> well, I can answer that one even before we start. Things go wrong all the time. You have no idea how many times Ernesto and I have refreshed these broadcasts today to make sure that I was actually going live. The reason I'm in a hall is because the broadcast, the signal kept disappearing in different parts of my office and downstairs. So this, I mean, things do go wrong all the time. Sometimes you're brought on late. Sometimes, especially if you're working with Zoom, they don't enable your screen. So you can use your PowerPoint. You gotta say, can you enable it? Can you enable it? There's loads of things that go wrong. But the key to it is A, your ability to keep talking. So you can fill in the gap with relevant, interesting material. So you should practice that as a skill. So it's very important to be able to ad lib, but also to do as much research to check that everything works up until the point. Have a fallback plan. Typically in a live gig, if your PowerPoint stops working, just make it up as it goes along. If a projector goes down, ask the audience, have you got any questions for me? Let's change the game. Let's make it more interactive. The key to it is to look like a swan. On the surface, gliding effortlessly, and below the surface, your little feet are going like that. The same is true of broadcasting, but the thing is, if it goes down, it goes down. But you never know, it might come back again. So don't say any bad words. Even if you can't hear yourself, you never know, they might be. That is correct. And uh, let me just uh, give you one more advice uh, there, Pavel. One of the things that you could do the best is try to prevent rather than be sorry <laughs> about what uh, what is going on. So first of all, and this is a very important thing, there's a website that is called fast.com and uh, before you actually go into a presentation make sure that you have at least 35 megabytes per second in download and at least 14 megabytes per second in upload in your computer if you have at least that that means that most likely you're not going to be having any issues make sure that you check uh, the audio in your computer make sure that you say you change uh, that you check your camera make sure that you have proper lighting which i think it's also incredibly important and uh, make sure that uh, once again if anything goes wrong don't freak out just con just keep on talking like if uh, uh, nothing had actually happened <laughs> and i like one other thing as well in this though get paid in advance if you're getting paid after the gig and something goes wrong, they'll turn around and say, well, you know, we'd have to pay you because it didn't happen. You've still prepared for the gig. So get paid in advance. If it goes bad, you can always say, I'll do it again for you next time. That's a great, right. that's a great, great point. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been bitten by that one at some point, but never twice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you really enjoyed it, then make sure you watch one of these two videos afterwards. And, Ernesto, what, why are you staring up on top of my head? Dave, your hair is actually thinning out. Well, if it is, it's about the only thing getting thin on this show. Here on this side, we have some more amazing videos for you to watch.